Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back here with Zenrot. Hello. And we're here with some more Pokemon Nuzlocke Randomizer. If you missed the last episode, we have two new Pokemon, which we are also going to be training. And we were training Zen last episode, so... We got Bitchless and Dumpster over here. I'm going to go with Dumpster first. I, go... I feel like Dumpster might be a lost cause, man. You feel like Dumpster might be a lost cause? I feel, I feel like, like you know... Dumpster might be a lost cause at level 2. Hmm... I want to give him a little bit of level before we fully write him off. At least keep him strong enough to maybe take damage from someone else. For sure, if things are going down, obviously Dumpster's taking the hit. There's no denying that. <laughs> let's not, let's get this straight. Sacrificial bug. Even though one of our other Pokemon is literally called Bitchless, it is still somehow Dumpster's at the bottom of the totem pole. Thundershock, oh thank god you're not. Uh, thank god you're not a water type. <laughs> Otherwise, it could have potentially been bad. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, it's the most likely to be taken. What? What fucking type are you, Celebi? What could you possibly be? I'm not using Fury Gunner. Let's go with Sky Attack. And hope that they don't have a, a huge move to hit you with. No, thankfully they just have Thundershock. Yeah, right just give them a little bit of levels. You never know when we might need a psychic type. Bro, what fucking type are you, Celebi? Oh no, that's oh no. Uh that's fine, it's only level three. Oh thank god. I was thinking of Dragon's Rage. Oh yeah, no. Bro, what <laughs> Celebi, what are you using? I have no idea. Fuck this Celebi. I hate it so much. It somehow has rain dish. It somehow is immune to both bug and uh to bug, flying, and ground types. Chase, you've never let us down before, my boy. You got this. You got this so hard, man. I want you to kick the shit out of this Celebi. Just kick him straight into the side. No! He missed finally for the first time in his life. Not like this. Not against the Celebi. Or Celebi, I forget how you pronounce it. Celebi. Wow! What? Two minutes on just the Celebi. <laughs> on the Celebi. At least he's doing it against a Pokemon that uh, has no way of. Jesus Christ! Okay, dude. I don't know what you're trying to prove here, Chase. Maybe he's feeling a little anxious in the rain. <laughs> I can't believe he's missing this many times. Okay, one more time. You got this, Chase. I believe in you. There we go. You can do it. <laughs> that means he was just wildly going for the mega kick. On flailing Celebi. around. <laughs> just flailing around back and forth. We do not need a fucking Pokemon Center trip for that. Just so he can get his kicks back. Caesar. Dumpster. Afraid of switching into you, even though he's a level three, and you'd be fine. Secret power doesn't affect me, fool. Egg bomb. Get egg bombed. Absolutely. In the mud. Ooh, nice. Some sweet level ups from good old dumpster here. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Let's see what we got. Beldum. I forget what type he is. I think we figured it out eventually. I actually wonder, can you hit him with the Meteor Mash? Not bad. Oh, he's a rock type, right? Oh, whatever. Dumpster's got this. Are you kidding me? He's gonna Meteor Mash the shit out of this Beldum. Let's go! <laughs> Dumpster! He did it. My boy. The little man did it. He's growing up so fast. Much faster than Zahal. Maybe Zahal was just the bad, <laughs> the bad egg. <laughs> he had so <laughs> many bad moves. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Um, what type is... What type was Zahal? I don't remember. It was like a really dumb type. Meteor Mash. 
I know he doesn't have any good moves. There's no way he could potentially kill us with anything. Double edge, though. That might be bad. Okay, no, it's not. Thank God. Woo! So lucky that he has no good moves. Every single one of his moves is bad. Uproar. Um, razor Wind. Dumpster's got this. Meteor Mash is a really good move. Which I guess really stands to reason. Can a good move carry a completely random Pokemon? I think the answer is yes. Apparently, yes. Because he's uh, de definitely bringing down the dumpster fires on him. Left and back punches. You got this, dumpster. Yeah. You may have you may have started this episode as our sacrificial insect, but damn it, you're punching our way into uh, our hearts. Still, kind of the sacrificial sacrificial insect. Okay, you're still very much likely to die first. You're very much, but you might reach Krillin status by the end of this, where we'll feel bad when you actually go down. <laughs> <laughs> That recycle move. I can't believe that. Actually, I think if. Oh no. No, we're fine. Okay, yes. Oh, <clears throat> still pretty bad though. That is a lot of damage. Secret power. Please don't kill Dumpster. Oh, thank god. Man, it really was just Zahal who had the worst luck of it all. Dumpster's got this. Level 6, buddy! You got this. Probably the hardest thing is going to be trying to remember their typing. He's a psychic type. There we go. Just trying to remember what random ass typing he had. It was psychic. Oh, so we so dumpster is even a better psychic type than Zahal was. <laughs> yes, he was. That's unfortunate for Zahal. Yeah. For Zahal. We've gone so... It's really a shame because he was a second evolution. He should have been much stronger than that shelter that took him down. Yet yeah, that's not how that went down. Robot. I don't remember what type you are, but we should be fine. Attack missed, which is pretty bad. I'm psychic. Wow, even with a critical hit, only three damage? Oh, well, he is a level two, I guess. Damn! Yeah, he's got a uh, little frail boy. Got him. He is leveling up much faster than anyone else. It might just be because I'm actually making him fight to show that he has worth. Yeah, because you're not switching out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Earn <laughs> your not, place. I'm not treating him like the. I'm treating him like a go, go stupid donkey. Not like um. Oh, come here, you precious child, like I did with you. He was, you know, Dumpster has just been raised different from everyone else. He had to grow up in the mean streets. <laughs> fighting to survive at all. To show that he wasn't a worthless Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Every single battle, I the Tiger is playing. Yeah. It automatically plays in his head. Thank you, Colonel Ocelot. While we were recording this, I got your message. I'm, I'm glad you enjoy our sponsor. Which, uh... Our sponsor has been getting a lot of increased uh, subscribers and I'm just gonna say it's because we gave him a shout out I think that's how that works out right I think so yeah I think yeah. that's exactly how it works exactly further proof that if you hire us we can totally sell whatever shit you got uh, peddling now I mean we'll say it more nicely than that <laughs> what not that much more nicely than that no probably not could you imagine if someone was actually I was about to say dumb enough uh, smart enough to give us ad money oh, to <laughs> like if Raid Shadow Legend said we really appreciate your stuff could you promote our game and we'd have to be like hello Zen uh, have you ever heard of Raid Shadow Legends real quick <laughs> have, you ever... have you heard of this game brand new indie game just released out on the streets no I haven't I think we wow. make a great promo I think we win if anything, phenomenal we win. uh huh Exactly. If any- Oh, Shockwave. Alright. Now, I forget. Shockwave is the move that never misses, right? Yes. Oh, that's sweet. Alright, Dumpster. Not bad. Let's start training our other, our other boy now. Good old Bitchless. Bitchless might actually be kind of a pain in the ass, because they are level Good 6. 
bitchless. Because <laughs> they're level 6 and they were already kind of getting destroyed by you. Uh, come on, bitchless. They even look bitchless. There's, there's no hiding in that. You can't fix that. You can't fix bitchless, though. Okay, let's see what we got. Well, obviously, at this point, we know all the Pokemon that are in here, so. Alright, Bitchless. Hyper Fang. I don't think. Uh, let me see. God damn it, Bitchless! <laughs> Come on, Bitchless. Get it together. Come on. You need to get your shit straight. This is your first battle with us. You're already fucking up. Alright, that's not bad. I just remembered that they're basically only ever going to know Hyper Fang for the vast majority of time, right? Because Magikarp doesn't learn any other move but Splash. I think Correct. Flail. Splash, Tackle, and Flail. Are you shitting me, bitchless? <laughs> Are you actually... Unfucking believable This dumbass got poisoned. He might die on the Pokemon Center. I don't, I don't think he'll make it. First of all, let's just quickly toss an Egg Bomb at Scizor. Get Egg Bombed. Let's see if we can save Bitchless's life now. Because this is now a rescue mission. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one, two, three. Okay. Four, five, six... Okay, we made it. Okay. <laughs> I had an antidote, but I did not want to waste it on Bitchless. <laughs> if I, there was not a chance for Bitchless to live. Yeah, Bitchless is not uh, not item tier, I'll no. say. No, obviously you and Chase are, but... Bitchless needs to earn their place. Alright, let's train over here for a bit. Actually, it's actually way faster to go over here. I just realized. If he had been poisoned all the way over there, Bitchless would have died. Dun 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 dun. Alright, come on. Who's got. Who's next? Crobat? Easy. I don't remember what typing Crobat is, though. Should we ever even find out? We should know. Okay, good. There we go. Come on. When they're bullying level 2 Pokemon, Bitchless suddenly has a spine. When it's a level 2 Pokemon, Bitchless goes hard on him. What? How, many, how much fucking EXP does a Magikarp need? Next level 58. That's kind of crazy. Don't tell me a, Mag a Magikarp is also very hard to train. Because if so, I might say that we might have to save old Bitchless' training arc for another time. Yeah, Bitchless might be an off-screen training. <laughs> it might need to be, man. At least until we know... Oh my god, to he's missing too. It's the pressure of being Bitchless, man. Let's get into him. Her, excuse me. Women can be bitchless too. Never forget, we're all about That's gender equality. That's very true. Everyone can be bitchless. Yeah. I I saw that uh, Final Fantasy fourteen billboard. Anyone could be bitchless with enough <laughs> enough time and effort. Don't worry about it. All right, we'll save here and then we'll figure out what to do. Do you think our team is good enough to fight all funked? Or should we wait until after we beat Brock? What do you think? Uh, oh man, Brock's gonna be a motherfucker with this team, I feel like. He, he very might well be. Well, at least get another Pokemon on his side, but... We also have to deal with the Viridian Forest. And see what's going on there. So... We'll discuss it uh, on the next video. But thank you very much for everyone for watching. We will see you guys in the next Nuzlocke Adventure. Nuzlocke Randomizing Adventure. Say goodbye, Zen. Goodbye, everybody. Peace out.